What's up everybody? My name's Rob Simmons and welcome to my channel. I will start reacting to another Team Circuit show called Twisted, which is basically Aladdin from Jafar's point of view. I'll read the synopsis real quick. Once upon a time in a magic kingdom, one misunderstood public official fights to save the city from crime, economic ruin, and invasion. So why does he get blamed for all the kingdom, kingdom's problems? Well, maybe because he's an ugly old fart. Ouch. Twisted, the untold story of a visual, a royal vizier, and retells the timeless tale of Aladdin from the villain's point of view. And knowing how hilarious and brilliant Team Star Kid is, I think we're in for something good here. So let's get started. Yeah, make sure Once the volume is good. Upon a time, in a faraway land, there was a magic kingdom that prospered through its commitment to two simple ideals: duty and devotion. The two Ds. <laughs> for many years, the kingdom stood as a shining beacon for artisans, craftsmen, and storytellers who all flocked to the land with a dream to uphold the sacred two Ds. Through their hard work, a glorious golden age came to the kingdom, followed by a second, even greater than the first. Then came the dark times. The kingdom fell into the hands of an evil sultan, and through his negligence, the kingdom fell to ruin. <gasps> the happiest place on earth became the crappiest place on earth. <laughs> Despite the efforts of one man, I hope the volume's good. A man with a dream to restore the kingdom to its former glory and to bring about the prophesized third golden age. A misunderstood man. This is his story. The untold story of a royal vizier. The crowd goes wild. There he is. I guess all right, the actor is perfect for Jabbar. Yep, he was Dumbledore in the Potter shows. I I recognize the voice. Oh, jeez. Beautiful. Oh, jeez. Ah, ew.
Bell from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> oh, wow. Excellent harmony. Oh my gosh. Bravo. A well-deserved applause right there. Him. Mud. Oh, no, wait, is that shit? <laughs> that smell is me, Jafar. You would not believe the morning I had. Why is my captain of the royal guard covered in shit? Well, my men and I just jumped from a window and into a cart of crazy Hakim's discount fertilizer. <laughs> Why? <laughs> we were chasing a man. No, a devil. A thief who every day robs from the common folk. Bread, laundry off of clotheslines, and even watermelons. We try to catch him, but he's always just one jump ahead. <laughs> Today, things got a little out of hand, and a lot of good people are dead. Explain! Well, the sword swallower, the slit his throat from the inside. And the thief's pet monkey ripped the sword right out of it. You know the guy that sleeps on the bed of nails? Yes. A fat guard fell on him. Oh, he's dead. Ouch. He fell from the window and into the cart of manure. The ball snapped his neck on impact. Two more choked on shit. <laughs> All this for a loaf of bread. <laughs> You're alive. I, thought you I think we all know who he was talking about. Did we get the loaf of bread back? Oh no, I'm sorry, the thief got away with Yes. Yes, Abdul, we got the bread back. Aww. Guys. Uh. Aww. This is all your fault, Jafar. My fault? How is this my fault and not that thief's? There wouldn't be any thieves. 
leaves if you fix the socioeconomic inequality like you promised. <laughs> oh, jeez. Why do you even bother visiting us commoners anymore, you aristocrat? Well, there's a very important prince coming into town today from one of our vassal kingdoms. The land of Pixar has come to welcome him personally. <laughs> Another suitor for the princess? No, if only, Captain. He's here because the trade agreement between his kingdom and ours has expired. And I've got to extend the contract or our kingdom is doomed. That's why I pulled out all the stops to make this prince's visit a happy one. We've arranged a character breakfast with our princess, given him a two-day park hopper pass, and a lanyard for souvenir pin collecting. Everyone <laughs> must treat this prince with the utmost respect. <laughs> I saw that very prince riding by on his horse earlier. Oh. He was being accosted by the same thief we just spoke of. What? The street rat threw a whip in his face. He told him that he'd never seen a horse with two rear ends. Now, I'm not sure if the thief meant that the prince had a big horsey ass or a horse ass for a face. Either way, everyone laughed, and the prince was furious. Oh, I'd better go back to the palace and make sure his breakfast with the princess goes well. But Jafar, isn't she known to sick tigers on visiting princes? Oh, shit. <laughs> right. I sure hope you haven't goofed this one up, Jafar. Oh, no, I haven't. Why don't you go apprehend the thief? What's his name? There are whispers. Rumors only. They say he's called Aladdin. Yep, I knew it. This one is Aladdin. There he is. dancing Get chased by a murderous mob. Hey man, still needs to get the job. Am I right? 
Such a special girl, Jezebel. Who's Jezebel? Uh oh. Busted! Yoink! Hey, I'm the one! Nice. The audience is right here. Talk about going out with a bang. Oh yeah, I am sold. Team Starkid never disappoints. First and foremost, the Disney logo with their twist on it was a really nice touch. And the format with the Disney story being retold from a villain's point of view, that's a format that could be used with any Disney movie like Ursula from Little Mermaid or Scar from Lion King. And in case you're wondering why there was a abrupt cut in the middle of my reaction, that's because, well, as I was filming, my battery, my camera's battery died in the middle of it, so I just swapped it out and edited the two together. So sorry about that, guys. But I am definitely going to continue reacting to this story because I cannot wait to see where it goes. And everyone in the show is just perfect in their role. Everyone is just, is just so talented with their dancing and singing. They are excellent storytellers. So, all that being said, let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Thank you for watching.